Hi, my name is Lindsay Schiller, and I am the FSU Career Center Liaison to the College of Fine Arts and the College of Music. And today we're doing a coffee break career conversation with Cedar Point. Uh, so today I have with me Sam Bryant, who is the exempt recruiter for human resources with Cedar Point. Hi, Sam. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you. So as we're doing a coffee break conversation, can you tell me about the coffee cup you brought with you today? Well, my coffee cup is uh, up Cedar Point. Imagine that. <laughs> we had a very a variety of, of sample mugs that we have at Cedar Point, our merchandise department. And this is the one that kind of just jumped out at me. It was, it's bigger than the usual cup too. It's, it's kind of a big gigantic cup compared to normal. <laughs> I, yeah, I usually love a big mug and I collect mugs too. So I yeah. about that. Mine is from the Coliseum, had to represent, but yeah, I love to collect a new mug when I travel. So it's really- yeah, same here, same here. Yes, yeah, same here. To see other people's, but so we're talking about kind of Cedar Point careers today, but first off, can you just tell me about Cedar Point and then Cedar Fair as companies? Yes, well, Cedar Point is a one of the conglomerates of Cedar Fair, is one of the assets of Cedar Fair. We have several other parks, King's Dominion, that you guys probably know down there, World of Fun, and Michigan's Adventures. We also have one out in California called Knoxbury Farm. So Cedar Point is just one of the companies inside of Cedar Fair. Cedar Fair is our gigantic organization, okay? Uh, we're the biggest park of all the conglomerations of all the parks. And obviously we've been around the longest. We just celebrated our 150th anniversary just last year. Well, it kind of got pushed off to this year because of the circumstances what happened last year in 2020. But yeah, we're looking forward to that. We have a lot of uh, roller coasters for one. It's a beautiful park and you like to ride roller coasters. We have those for you. We're also um, a beautiful resort destination as well. We have several ho hotel areas. We have one gigantic hotel breakers with historic hotel breakers, which is right on the beach. So we have a mile long beach to for our associates and our guests to enjoy. So it's a beautiful place. It's a wonderful place to just to come by and spend like an entire weekend or a couple days more than just one day riding rides. There are other things we can do here at Cedar Point. I, I know our Florida audiences are definitely familiar with spending the weekend, you know, um, with a theme park. So yeah, tell me more about kind of the local area and the resorts maybe with Cedar Point. Okay. Well, our, our whole Cedar Point was built around Hotel Breakers. Hotel Breakers was a hotel destination 150 years ago, <laughs> which it was just a hotel and then we just have a few rides like little spinny rides water rides without outside into the water but as the season as new ownership came took over it became and grew to this cedar point amusement park where people will come we have a famous ballroom where they have a lot of famous uh performers come to perform back in the 20s, 30s. <laughs> so that would drew everything to Cedar Point. So then they care to expand on that and add the rides and stuff. Since people are using it as a place to come spend the weekend, spend the day, they use that, they kind of expand it on and that's where all the rides came from. So when we finally turned the corner, say in the late 80s, early 90s, that's when we started to get the more innovative type rides like the roll up the gigantic roller coaster the top thrill dragsters your millennium force so to draw that crowd in because we have a very good local base here at, at cedar point we have a lot of local people that come here you know year after year just to enjoy cedar point just to walk around maybe just to try the food just maybe not be a big roller coaster ride fan but just to come around with the atmosphere and do, you know walk around eat the food, see the shows, things like that. So it's a lot. I would say Cedar Point is like literally one of the only roller coaster kind of areas we haven't done yet. I've done a lot of other parks, so I'm really excited to go at some point. Right, right. It's over. Um, but what would you say are the great opportunities available to college students, seasonal or part-time uh, at Cedar Point? 
Okay. Well, we have a variety of positions that we're hiring for at Cedar Point. We have positions like in our food operations. We have ride operations, obviously, in our merchandise divisions, like a sales representative. We also have marketing representatives. We also have accommodations working in our hotel, like housekeeping, front desk clerk, manager, things like that. We have a live, uh, a live art a live entertainment department, sorry, that explains all that stuff. And obviously, you know what live entertainment's all about. But we have our specific department that does all that. We also have a security department, our own security department, which here on the point, okay, with bonded policemen. Then we also have a first aid department, obviously, in case of any kind of problems like that to have. And we have little smaller departments like our games department where people work various games and stuff like that. Now we do offer internship for our associates as well. Okay, and mostly all those positions offer internship programs. So, and our internship program is a very good one, I think, because the fact of it's very flexible. One, we can flex, we can do the time in which you are able to work. In other words, whenever your school has you to be able to work, whatever dates those are, we can work with that. It's a paid internship, so you get paid for the internships, which is a, a huge plus. And also, too, as far as our associates working at Cedar Point, we have housing for Cedar Point. Not some people know about that. We have employee housing for Cedar Point where guests or I'm sorry, where employees can come to Cedar Point as long as you're 18 years of age and 20 between the age of 18 and 29. You can stay at Cedar Point at least 35 miles away. And don't have to worry about housing. So we have very flexible rates for housing, uh, very affordable housing too, anywhere from like nine to $15 a day for housing. And they deduct that right from your paycheck too. So there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of websites are a lot. Of, we have a website, which is very convenient for our internship program that has a lot of information about that. So there's a lot of good things to happen at Cedar Point. If you love coming to work with people and love making people happy, this is the place to be. That is great information. And it's so rare to find internships with available cheap housing available. So yes, I, yeah, yes. that's a really incredible opportunity for our, our folks. Yes. You say, uh, there are opportunities to get into a full-time position with Cedar Point? Yes. Now, most of our positions and most of our full-time positions are filled from within. I mean, there is time that we do hire outside, but most of the time it's filled by our maybe possibly interns who've been working there. And those individuals already have the inside knowledge of Cedar Point and how it operates. Okay, so that's, that, that's how I started. I started off seasonally when I was in college and uh, I worked several years and then a full-time position came up in human resources and I knew about that. So therefore I was there, I can apply for it and I ended up getting the job and working, starting full-time because I was already there and ready to go because <laughs> I've already had that in, you know, that, that knowledge of what was going on. And that's what they're looking for. And most of the time looking for the, that experience of Cedar Point, I guess. So that's what it just worked for me. You had that institutional knowledge, which is yes. valuable. Yeah. Right, right. It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. So. Well, so since you kind of, you came through the company, you know, working seasonally and now you're full time, been with the company for a long time. What is the ideal candidate? I know you've talked a little bit about personality, but do they need to have a specific major or skill set? Not really. Um, obviously, with the most uh, sensitive positions, such as our finance and those departments, they would probably look for some kind of degree. But most of ours is we hire individuals with the desire to work with people. OK, able to work with people, able to work with a large amount of people and willing to work as a group, work as a team and also keep a calm demeanor in volume, high volume situations. <laughs> because, you know, Cedar Point, we can get on non-COVID years, we can get over 3 million people to come through our gates. And so there's all different kind of people. And our goal is to make sure that every single person, every single day is having a great time. So if you want to be committed to making sure our guests are having a great time, that's what we're looking for. There you go. And just because I work with the College of Fine Arts, College of Music, 
would you say there are performance availabilities at Cedar Point? Yes, we do. We have a live entertainment department and they go out to various college, matter of fact, do a road show and do auditions. So you would have to audition for those. And speaking of that, coming up this year with our hopefully 125th anniversary, we've added a lot of uh, new live entertainment programs. Like we have a, a float, the daily floats that we're going to do, a parade we're going to do. We have individual um, shows that we have like through the midway. We have uh, midway walkers that entertain as they walk down the midway, things like that. We have a gigantic night show called Luminosity, which is very cool. <laughs> it is very cool. That's one of the one of my favorite shows. And that's done like every night. Well, one day they have off, but it's done every night. So we have a lot of opportunities, I think, this year for our live entertainment. So they are definitely looking for entertainers. Oh, that's that's great news to hear, especially, yes. you know, in pandemic, getting that exposure back uh, for our performers is great. So, yeah, yeah. And they're on the air in the mid, in the middle of right now of doing auditions. So if you're interested, you know, take a look at our live entertainment department at Cedar Point and make that connection. There you go. I'll have to recommend my students. I unfortunately, I think, have passed my performance <laughs> abilities, but <laughs> definitely. And so lastly, uh, kind of thinking about your experiences and where you are now, what advice would you give to undergraduate students, you know, in terms of work or in terms of Cedar Point? Okay. Well, for me personally, I will tell people always try something different, you know, be able to be flexible, you know, don't be afraid to try something different. Um, by working at Cedar Point, I found out that working with people is my joy. So find a passion or find something that you enjoy very much. That, that at, Once you find something that is really, you really enjoy, it no longer becomes a job. It becomes your passion. And I think in my life, that's where I'm at. I'm blessed to have a situation like that. And working also in the service industry, too, uh, there's one quote that, <laughs> that kind of stuck to my mind here. It says, uh, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. So I think that's kind of the philosophy that if we want to go into a situation or a, a career, a service career, I think you need to care for the people that you work for and work with. So that's one of the one of the big tools and one of the one take backs I have gotten over the years by working at Cedar Point. Yeah, no, I definitely vibe with that working with college students. It's really about me kind of helping the student that I was and not I wasn't really utilizing my career center. So now that I work for them, it's trying to convince the me's. <laughs> right, right, right. But like I said, it's just the fact of caring about people. If that's what that's if that's your passion, then you need to go for it. But also, like I said, try different things too. You know, don't be stuck in the same thing. Always be flexible. Be able to be different. Try different new things. That that is really great. And just because I have you and the company you represent here, what is your favorite experience at Cedar Point that you recommend like first timers have to do? Hmm. <laughs> first, an experience that I had at Cedar Point. Hmm. Well, I can take it back. I used to work in merchandise. I was a merchandise manager before I came over to Human Resources. And I had a situation where a guest came in and one of their tickets were invalid and they wasn't working correctly. And the, the, um, the one daughter had happened to get a stuffed animal the day before. Mm -hmm. And it was messed up and she was all in tears and everything. And they called me about it. It's like, okay, that's what we can do. I can, you can come to the park. I'll get you in the park, get you in for free, you and your family. And then we can have a little Sam day is what I call it. <laughs> and I can take you out to the various rides and everything. Because their day was really ruined because of that. Wow. So, so I said, well, okay, then, so what I would do is when they came, it was only four of them, it was a little small family. So what they would, what I would do is when they got there, I got them on certain rides, I took them up the exit so they wouldn't have to wait in line on specific rides. And they really, really enjoyed, I really appreciate it. And the little girl had sent me this cute little 
homemade thank you card. <laughs> it was really touching because I, I knew that that made a difference and I knew it really made them feel good. And I know that their negative experience turned into something very positive. So that's, that was one of those experiences for me when I was in merchandise that I really enjoyed. Creating a Sam day. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's an yeah. Amazing experience. No. Yeah. And, <laughs> hey, teaching our students too about the value of a thank you card. So yeah, they, yeah. You know, them all the time, make sure you write those handwritten cards or thank the people who do you favors professionally. So that is a great story that you kind of just taught that wisdom again to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very good experience. Very good. It was very good. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Sam. I really appreciate you representing Cedar Point today. And yeah, thanks for coming out. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you, Sam. You take care. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.